Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I would like to show you how you can use hyperlinks in Microsoft PowerPoint. First of all, what are hyperlinks? Uh, hyperlinks in PowerPoint are similar to links you see on a website. They allow you to jump back and forth between specific slides in your presentation, to video files that you have on your computer, or to a web page if you are connected to the internet. If you're working with uh, long texts, or if you need to explain a word or illustrate maybe a concept, uh, hyperlinks are absolutely necessary. And let me show you how you can add them to your slides. So um, I'm working with one of my lessons, Fables, and uh, this is the first slide where I am talking about Aesop. So as you see in the speech bubble, it says, hello, my name is Aesop. Today we will talk about Fables. And I would like to explain who Aesop was to my student. So um, look, I have an empty slide here. Uh, there we go. And I am going to add information about Aesop. And also when you work with hyperlinks, it's best to put all the slides to the end of your presentation. This way it's not going to affect the flow of your lesson. So um, let's just include some info about Aesop. First of all, let's insert the text box here and write uh, a little bit about Aesop. So I am going to write a couple of sentences. Aesop was a storyteller. He lived about 2,500 years ago in ancient Greece. His favorite story to tell was a fable. There we go. So now let's uh, highlight it, change the font. As you know, I really like the Comic Sans MS and increase the font size to, let's say, 36. Let's see, let's make it beautiful. Center it. There we go. Great. Looks good. So now we need to include the pictures, insert the pictures. Yeah. So click insert pictures, this device. Well, I already have pictures prepared, but if you need to find pictures, you can always go to Pixabay and find any picture you want. So, um, Let's choose these two. There we go. Ease up. Let's put it here. Okay, looks good. Um, and also we can um, in insert a video. Let me insert. And here, video, this device. And I have it right there. Okay. We are going to resize it so it looks nice. There we go. This is the video of Greece, uh, which I made. And uh, I think it's going to illustrate very well the country Aesop lived. Um, look, uh, a little trick. Click on playback and choose uh, play or start automatically. This way your video is going to play automatically as soon as you get to this slide. Um, also, I think to make it a bit more beautiful, I would choose video border to white. It look nicer. And one more thing I'd like to 
insert is the flag of Greece. So click pictures, this device, and here we go. The flag of Greece. I'm going to put it here. All right, so now everything looks great. We need one more thing. We need to have a home button because uh, you will need this button to return back to the original slide. So um, I already have it saved, but again, if uh, all you need to do is to go to Pixabay, uh, choose illustrations and just type in home button, yeah? Uh, and look how many home buttons you can choose from, a lot. Uh, so click on the button you like and you have free download. Yeah, you can download and save it to your computer. And one more time, I really like Pixabay because it's free for commercial use, no attribution required, and uh, they have so many nice illustrations and photos and uh, stock video, uh, whatever you want. All right, so let's go back to our presentation and let's insert the home button. Pictures, device, and there it is. I have it here. Oh, sorry. I have it here, so I'm going to, yeah. All right, perfect, perfect. So now we are ready to add a hyperlink to our slides. So how do we do that? Take a look. Um, so I want to hyperlink uh, the word ESOP. So the first thing I am going to do, I'm going to highlight the word, then right click, and here you see it says hyperlink. Click on it, and then take a look. Uh, if you want to choose a video file from your computer, you choose existing file or web page. But in our case, we want to uh, place it in this document. So we choose this one and then we need to find the slide. Yeah, the slide where we want um, this hyperlink go. So in our case, it's slide 43. This is where it's going to jump and then we click OK. All right, and as you can see, uh, it is underlined and highlighted. Okay, so let's see what happens. Yeah, let's go to the presentation mode. So now if I click on, as you can see, um, if I click on ESOP, it's going to take me to the slide we have just made. And also, as you can see, the video is playing automatically. And also we can tell um, our uh, students that Aesop was a storyteller and he lived about 2,500 years ago in ancient Greece. Now let's hyperlink the home button. We can also, um, we need to do that so we can go back to the home slide. So we do the same thing, right click, hyperlink, place in this document, and then we need to choose the slide, uh, well, the home slide, the slide we want to go back to. In our case, it's slide 11. And then we click OK. All right, so let's take a look. And let's click on this button, and it's going to take us to our original slide. Very convenient. One more trick, look. You know that you can change these colors. It's fully customizable. So let me show you how. Go to design and then here, variants. Uh, click on this drop down menu, colors, customize colors. And here, look, it says hyperlink and followed hyperlink. So, for example, in my, you can choose any color you want. In my case, Hyperlink is yellow and followed hyperlink is blue, but you can customize it um, 
But you can choose any colors you want, whatever works for you, whatever you think looks beautiful. Okay, so there we go. And take a look one more time. So, uh, yeah, if I want to uh, jump to the slide which talks about ESOP, I click on ESOP. This is where we talk about ESOP, we read everything. And then if I want to go back, I click on the home button and there we go. And now if I want to uh, proceed with my presentation, all I need to do is to uh, click on the space bar or if you have a clicker and it will go to the next slide. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to turn the notifications on so you never miss a single upload. I hope you have a great day. Happy teaching. <laughs> See you in my next video.